Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to a day in my life in New York City. I am so excited to be bringing you along for today. Today we are going ice skating in Central Park. I had a photo shoot earlier last week in Central Park and we noticed that the ice skating rink is open there. And I was like, oh my gosh, Will, like we have to go. If, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on YouTube. I did ice skating when I was younger. I never did lessons, but I just loved going to like the ice skating rink. Like I feel like my whole personality was like from the movie Ice Princess. Like I am obsessed with ice skating, figure skating, ice skaters, like all of the sorts. So when it comes to like Christmas winter time, it's literally the perfect time to just like love life and go ice skating. So we're going to have like a little holiday preview day in the city. Today is Sunday, so Will has the Kansas City Chiefs game that he is watching this morning, but it's in Germany. So he is going to be watching that. And afterwards, that's when we're going to be doing like all of the fun things today. I'm so, so excited to be bringing you along right now. I'm like ice rolling my face. This is my favorite ice roller right now from the Skinny Confidential. I've had it for like, I think two years. I think I used it a lot in college and I left it back in my hometown but I had it shipped back to me so I could have it here but about to be doing like my little gua sha this morning last night I had a party with Ulta which was so much fun it wasn't like my party or anything it was just like a party you go to anywho it was their holiday Christmas party and I got so many goodies from Ulta it was so much fun. I got to meet up with a few of my friends, but it was just a very late night last night. So I'm just like trying to like recover. I've gotten the shower already, but I need some coffee and I need to make some breakfast. So let's get going after we do some of our facial things today. <laughs> done with our face routine. We're about to go out and make some coffee. I have the holiday blend from Starbucks and I'm so excited. It tastes so good with my vanilla creamer. So let's go out and have some coffee. Baby L is making an appearance. About to be getting ready for the day. I'm going to do like a soft pink look, I think. I went ahead and pulled some items out right here. It is a warmer day in New York than what it has been the past few days. It was really, really chilly. Today, I think it's in like the 60s, like low 60s. So I'm not planning on bundling, like bringing like a really big puffy jacket at the moment. I'm just going to like really heavily layer. So like wearing like fleece lined tights below my leggings, wearing like a little fleece lined top underneath like my bodysuit. And hopefully that'll be good enough. I also really want to explore kind of Rockefeller Center today too. 
Will said we can do whatever I want today. Me and his mom pulled off a really big birthday surprise for him. She came in and like flew in from Alabama to surprise him for his birthday. It was so much fun having her here and we've just been spending the last week with her. So Will was like, whatever you want to do today, we can do. Like I already like did what I wanted to do, like watch a football game. So I'm really excited to see what we get into today. But I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me on my TikTok. Also, I want to share one of like my favorite products right now. It's this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So I love putting this underneath my makeup and I'm also going to be using this Jones Road here. It is the Shimmer Face Oil. I love using these two if I'm looking for like a really glowy look. Like the look that I'm going for today is like Sugar Plum Fairy doing ice skating for makeup. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend it in with this. But obviously I self tanned a couple nights ago just because I was wearing like that strapless dress last night for the Ulta Beauty holiday party and I did not want to be too pale for it. But this really helps just like have a really beautiful glow on your skin. It's just really great to have like underneath your makeup I feel like. Like when it comes to the winter you don't always have that glow that you normally do over the summer. So applying these two products have helped me still keep like a very great glow under Underneath my makeup. I also want to share something else with y'all. So like I said, Will's mom was here for the past couple of days and we are all like big avid wine drinkers. We love a good glass of wine. So I want to share with you something that we did this weekend. We had like a full on wine tasting. So I want to share like the details and how you can do the same thing here. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription company. So we get wine delivered straight to our door, which is absolutely amazing. And something that I really like is that you actually take a quiz online and that quiz matches you with wines that they think you will love. I know me personally, the wine aisle can be very overwhelming and there's just so many things going on. You don't really know what wines you like. And I know for me, I am scared to pick up new wine. So when I took the quiz, I was able to customize this box so perfectly. We were able to discover new wines that we absolutely love. And the box and the packaging is just so, so precious. Also, if you don't like a bottle, they will replace it for you. I am really excited to be having these being delivered throughout the holiday season because we are hosting a few holiday parties and we're hosting Christmas in our apartment in New York City and having this for hosting is really really great something I love doing with this is doing like wine tasting since we have six bottles in here I love setting them out and having everyone sip them and figure out what one their favorite is as well before I show you the bottles that I got they actually gave me a very huge special offer for you guys who are following me they are giving y'all your first six bottle subscription box which is usually $150 plus just for $55 so you are getting six bottles of wine for $55. Tell me you don't need that. You can click the description down below and click the link to take your quiz and get started today so you can get one of these delivered straight to your door. They also give you like a little envelope so you can learn more about the profile, what it pairs well with. This is a Cabernet, this is a Zippendel, and then this one is a red blend. We got this one and like I mentioned, these little things, it matches the label so you can figure out what pairs with it. We also got this Rosé. We got this Sauvignon Blanc. It was literally so much fun. It was so good. We found so many great wines that we had never tried before that we We'll definitely be repurchasing in the future. Got my Octobuddy on my phone to your literally one of the best inventions was this Octobuddy. <laughs> and now it's just chilling, ready to go for the day to go on TikTok. do my natural lashes I've been using the grande lash serum on my lashes and they've been like phenomenal I guess maybe 
maybe I will use my real lashes today. But my lashes were so bad. Like they were so broken and brittle and I've just been using that serum. Really, I try using it twice a day. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just use it at night. I also am like trying to find a new mascara. I like this. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. And I've been mixing it with the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Normally I start with the Laura Mercier. But like my lashes used to not look like this. Like they have grown so much. I'm so impressed with it. So putting on finishing touches and I think I want to put like two little bows in my hair like off to the side to kind of keep it out of my face. I was going to wear a little hat but I don't really want to wear a hat right now. Hats like always make my head itch and I like it just makes me aggravated. Like you know like when something like I don't even know how to describe this but like if something is bothering you it just agitates you. I don't want to be dealing with an itchy head. Elle has been obsessed with laying on my tights though. She's literally just over here snoozing away on my fleece lined tights. Okay, so the room is kind of messy, but I wanted to show you my little outfit. Elle is right here. But I have on this puffer, I have lots of layers on. These are little leg warmers, fuzzy socks. Put my hair up just a little so it's like kind of out of my face. I know these like little pieces are going to be driving me insane and I'll probably be wishing that I put them up. But anywho, grab these little pearl earrings, little dainty pearl necklace. This puffer is so warm. It is so warm. It's from, I don't know, it's called the Super Puffer. Apparently it's like a really popular puffer. It's thick. She is thick. But little outfit of the day. Peacing out. Let's go ahead and start going to Central Park. Oh, and uh, have my ice skating back with my ice skates in there. I'm so excited. I just realized the last time I went ice skating, I think was in Montana two years ago with my friend Keegan. That's such a long time ago. So almost three years ago. So I'm about to be a little rusty, but I think it's gonna be fun anyways and a great way to spend our afternoon. Our biking to Central Park. We are already got my little Ugg boots on. Will is right there getting his bike ready in his Kansas City Chief goodies. But let's go ahead and bike. So the New York City Marathon is going on today. Messed us all up. Has a lot of road closures, so like we couldn't get like the closest we could get. And the people kept standing in the bike lane and we kept like, what is it like? Dinging the bell. Dinging like our oh, little okay. bell. Yeah, being like, hey, like kind of like we're coming, like get out of the way type thing. Yeah, my strategy is just hit him. He's, he's no lying. Anyways, we're heading to Central Park now. Hit the people in the bike lane. Sidewalk, bike lane, street, <laughs> very different. This is like the little road closures we were talking about. So like there was a bunch of them that we couldn't pass, obviously. But we're making our way. <laughs> Slowly but surely. It's always great to move your body. Like going somewhere in New York. So biking, walking, I'm skating. Something better, I can see it. Will you hold on to me when I break through with it? Something better, I can see it. a little bit harder than what we were expecting. Update we could not get into the rink. In Central Park, so we are changing direction and going to Rockefeller Center. than what we expected so will is like drenched in sweat with his puffer jacket <laughs> really excited
Just got back. My feet are hurting so bad. I don't even remember how long we ice skated. I think it may have been like for an hour and a half. Like it wasn't for too, too long. OMG, I had never worn those ice skates before. So they were like very, very tight and just like stiff, but it was so, so much fun. It was really expensive to go ice skating in Rockefeller Center. Apparently like there's a lot of ice rinks that have like free admission in the city. And to go ice skating in Rockefeller Center for both of us was a little over a hundred dollars. Like, I get it. Like, it's for, like, the experience. Like, it was fun for us to do, but it was just really small. It was not, like, as crowded as, like, I've seen. Like, it gets, like, really, really crazy packed. But we had a really great time. Will's in the shower right now. He wants to have pizza tonight. I was asking him. I was like, you know, do we need to pick something up? Should we go out? Should we, like, go to, like, the grocery store and get something? Because we haven't gone grocery shopping in about, like, a week and a half. So we don't have, like, any meat here to cook for dinner. So he wants pizza. So I think after his shower, he's going to go run out and get our pizza. We've been obsessed with this margarita pizza like down the street and it is so good we have it at least once a week it is the best pizza like there is nothing like new york city pizza it's so so yummy but i wanted to show you what i got at bryant park so bryant park has a like little christmas village area and they have free ice skating they have like a different food drinks they have like a bar there and they also have like little gift shops and everything so i didn't even know this happened or like this was a thing until i kept getting tagged and things on instagram from like y'all tagging me like to go to it which i really want to go again like in the daytime like probably by myself it really wasn't will's vibe so i'll probably go back like by myself for like another vlog or a tiktok or something to like actually go into the shops and see what they have to offer. Elle is like looking out her window just meowing right now. But I shot from two little businesses and then I also got hot chocolate from Max Brenner I believe. That had to be the sweetest hot chocolate I have ever had in my life. It was a very small cup but it tasted like melted chocolate. Like it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was the sweetest hot chocolate I had ever had. So if you're going to Bryant Park and you want to try hot chocolate apparently there's like several places to get hot chocolate. I really want to go try all of them and see like what one is the best. 
first place and the reason why I went was Melcy's illustration. I kept getting tagged and kept getting sent in her stuff. I want to go back and get things for like friends and stuff for Christmas and everything. Um, but I got this to start off. It's a little custom cup and y'all I could not, you know, I have an obsession with coffee cups. Okay. But please look at this little mug. I mean, I'm so, I I don't want to be this person, but it like reminded me of like of myself like in the city and like I just wanted to document that I was like, you know what? Like I've moved to New York City like it's a big monumental step Like I'm thriving living my life here and I love this little illustration on a coffee cup and y'all know I get coffee every single morning So I cannot wait to be using this it just like in the city it's so cute, but she had lots of different like Christmas designs. They had one that like reminded me of the Nutcracker that I really wanted to get, but I'm running out of space for coffee mug. And last but not least, I went into Trufflist. Um, I've been obsessed with truffle everything lately. I just recently like tried truffle. So anywho, the thing that got me in there was the smell. I was like, oh my God, like if you know truffle, like you know like the truffle smell. This is goat cheese with black truffle. I like goat cheese. I like truffle. So I tried it. Then I started talking to the salesman and he was so nice but i know he was trying to upsell me and he was like oh you need this sampler so i also walked out with the sampler this is truffle honey truffle mustard and truffle salt i said okay sir because i was like oh there was like several different samplers and i was like i'll just do this one um so i'm really excited to be trying all this stuff out like i can still like smell the truffle like just on the packaging but they look really cute this is little truffle cheese and they said you could shop them online too so if you like truffle things um oh he also gave me a truffle cookbook not cookbook but like recipe book for like their stuff that they sell and then he also gave me a tote bag which low-key i kind of like i use these all the time in the city like for groceries and stuff so anywho that was my haul of what I got today. We have Big Brother tonight, which I'm really excited about, but when I hadn't already changed into my little roller rabbit pajamas, I got these right after my meet and greet in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I am just obsessed with them. I want like every other pajama from them. They're so soft, so comfortable. This is literally how I Snapchat Prince is right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a face mask. I'm taking my makeup off and doing a little face mask, doing the Kiehl's Rare Earth. This is like my favorite one. Also, I wanted to give you like a little sneaky on something that's coming to my website so this is going to be part of like a little small collection that i'm launching on www.thelaurenorris.com and they're like little christmas tree earrings they are so cute we have a very very limited amount but these are launching tomorrow if you want to know the exact time and all the details and everything go to instagram because i'll be posting on there i'm going to give you a little sneaky face mask is on we all got the pizza so excited to look at it this way Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. So this is the view from our living room. This is how we spin. <laughs> you can't even like barely see. Hold on. Watching Big Brother. We have our fake fireplace going. Just enjoying our Sunday evening. Currently finishing up some laundry that I had started for going ice skating and I am just starting to not feel well. I'm about to be on my period. Some people get like grossed out basically when I say that, but like for real, I am just like cramping and I'm feeling so nauseous. So I'm about to be eating out this vlog just to like take care of myself. Also because it is 10, 13 right now. So it is getting a little bit later anyways. I have been getting into a really good routine of waking up pretty early like early to me is like 8 a.m that may like be so late to some people but like i used to sleep in like more so like around like 9 to 10 so like waking up just at, like 7 30 or 8 like really helps me get my day going i want to get like a good night's sleep will just walk downstairs right now to see if he can find me a ginger ale ginger ales always help me when i'm not feeling good so i'm really excited if the place downstairs has a ginger ale. If you've made it to this part of the video, go ahead and comment down the ice skating emoji and a snowflake emoji. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.